everyone, it's Marina from Say Something Crafty and I'm here today with a class and this is going to be how to make a fabric hardcover using canvas board. So uh, this is perfect for when you can't afford like plywood board or you can't cut it yourself or if you can't afford authentic book board because book board is expensive. Um, canvas board works just as good and you can get a lot of it for way cheaper. So this is just something that I figured out and I wanted to share with you guys. And there's like, there's different sizes. These ones are eight by 10. The ones that I've used before are nine by 12. And then I have another pack that I showed you that are five by five by seven. So I'm going to be using the eight by 10. And what I'm gonna do is turn them into a journal cover, hard cover. So I've got some, uh, medium weight chipboard that I'm going to use for the spines and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut them I'm gonna do since this book board is, or these canvas boards are 8 by 8 by 10 I'm going to cut these into 2 by 2 by 10 and I'm going to double layer them because this is medium weight chipboard and I want my spine to be really thick not like super thick but some somewhat as thick as the um, the canvas board. So I'm going to be doing three journals today um, using um, three different types of fabric. Now I have all three spines. Sorry guys, I have a blanket. It is like, it was super cold in the room. <laughs> I, needed, I needed to get warmer. So I got out a selection of fabrics that I might want to use. And this one is one of my favorites, so I went ahead and used this one. And you can pre-cut these, but I didn't pre-cut mine. I just put it together and then cut around it. And I'm going to be using Jade PVA. Jade PVA is premium book binding conservation glue. It's got neutral pH, acid free, it's non yellowing, it's very flexible, water soluble, and it dries clear and permanent. And I really like it. It's, it's perfect for making books. <laughs> Regular PVA will do just fine, but I like to use the um, the Jade PVA from Hollanders. So here I'm just spacing it how I want it to be and I'm going to go ahead and glue the spine down. Make sure you leave a quarter, at least a quarter inch space between your, um, your spine and your covers. Hardcover journals because it's canvas board is designed to be um, put all kinds of stuff on it. So um, this is a good way to make a cover. You can also put stuff on your cover afterwards. You don't have to worry about it being bending. Or it's really I really like how the texture is and how thick it is. It's perfect. It just feels solid and durable. have my covers down and my spine is all how I want it to be I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the edges and I like to use my excess pieces in journals and everything so I I like the extra pieces that I'm cutting off here I always use them again later and here I'm being very careful but I'm kind of just folding it over so I'd rather there be too much than too little here so when you do this be careful 
I'm just cutting corner I'm cutting the corners off so I can fold the fabric over. And I'm just going to apply some glue to all the edges and glue it down. Make sure you press firmly and you stretch your fabric just a little bit so that it doesn't scrunch up on the edges. Find when you're using the canvas board that you don't have to do a fabric cover. You can do any type of cover you'd like to do. You can add texture paste on there and then and then go ahead and apply your fabric. You can go ahead and do so many different techniques with this canvas board and it won't get too, I mean like if you're soaking it in water it's going to get too wet, but but it's very forgiving with a lot of things and you can do so many different techniques with this canvas board. I was super excited and I'm really glad I was able to share with you guys. I'm going to repeat this process again a couple more times. I had decided between these three and I asked my son to pick which one he wanted. He picked this one. It's really funny because this one ended up being my, my journal. Go ahead and do this last one off camera. What we're going to do is um, put the inside of the covers in there which I've gone ahead and I selected out the, well, the pages that I want for the cover and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut them down my son's gonna help me with this
distressed all the edges, I'm going to go ahead and glue them into the books. And I use Fabri-Tac for this because it works perfect for paper and fabric. And since I'm using both paper and fabric, it seems like the best thing. So use um, PVA for this or tacky glue or any type of glue that you have that you feel more comfortable using than you don't have to use Fabri-Tac. You can use whatever glue you feel like you want to use for this. go over my with the bold bone folder I like to make sure everything is pressed down firm and um, everything is not bubbling or anything now I'm going to go ahead and do the inside covers for the rest of them now it's all done all, here's all three of them i hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you have any questions and i will see you guys next time bye